Hi everyone, it's Adam here again with another two minute wellness tip. And today, triangle pose and some modifications that you can do. Now, in the previous video, I talked about a side forearm plank, uh, and that directly leads to this one because the muscles we're about to use, I'm going to stand with my legs about a leg length apart or so. Turn my toes out 90 degrees, and I'm going to turn these toes slightly in. Rotate my hips slightly towards the front foot to keep my hips safe. From here, if I slide my hand down my leg and lean on my chin or my ankle, or I start to crunch down here, and I'm really not doing anything with my upper body. Okay, all I'm doing is leaning on my hand, and that's fine if you don't have uh, enough strength to hold yourself up. But if you practice that previous posture, that side forearm plank, and you started to develop strength along the side of your torso here, then you can start to put less and less weight on this lower hand. I'm not trying to get lower, I'm trying to get longer. I'm going to crunch up slightly, and then a slight crunch inwards. So here I'm drawing my front of my ribs in, pressing my tailbone towards my back leg, and I'm getting longer and straighter through the spine. I'm not gonna let my head hang down. At this point, I could take this arm up, I could bring this hand to half prayer, I could bring this hand forward. It doesn't really matter what I do with my arms. If I want to add more resistance, I could straighten my arms, bring my arms together, keeping a tiny bend in this knee here, so I don't hyperextend that leg, and still keeping that slight crunch, not letting my lower back collapse. Again, I'm not collapsing down, trying to get lower. I'm actually trying to get longer and straighter. And now, here are all my side forearm plank muscles that I built in that previous exercise, and they're holding me up. So there's a couple of additions that you can add to your triangle pose if you want to. Enjoy.